Okay, here is question E. All right? Find the equation of a circle given that the center is 4, negative 5, and the circle is tangent to the x-axis. Now, last semester, what confused my students about this problem? The center they were fine with. They knew that, in other words, I had already just given them h and k. Okay? They knew that h was 4, they knew that k was negative 5, but I did not give them r. They had to find r before they could go to the equation of the circle. And a number of students last semester said, we don't know what you mean that it's tangent to the x-axis. So again, to me, the best you know, solution to some of these problems is to draw it. And then this is also going to help you find r. It's really kind of clever. And I'll explain what the word tangent means when I do my drawing. The center of the circle is 4, negative 5. So my center is right here. Okay, it's located in that quadrant at the ordered pair 4, negative 5. My circle is tangent to the x-axis. Okay, tangent to the x-axis means my circle touches the x-axis in one point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk from the center and I'm going to go directly up to the x-axis and put a point there. You got me? Okay. And what it means is my circle, I'm not going to draw the whole thing. I mean, I, mean, I could if I wanted to. You know, the circle's going to go all the way around. But my circle touches the x-axis one time. You got me? Okay, so I drew a circle, and that circle touches the x-axis once. Well, look what that just gave me. If I walk from the center up to that point on the circle, you can see how far I've walked. I used to be at negative 5, now I'm up here at y is 0, so I walked up 5 blocks. So I can tell the radius is 5. Okay, so tangent means touch once, tangent to the x-axis, I went from my center to the x-axis, I drew a circle, and when I went from the center of the circle and I went to that boundary point, I saw that it was, I had walked five blocks. Okay, don't worry about this being a negative five, the distance is positive five, so I now know my radius. So, when I go back to my paper, to answer my question, I know that h is 4, I know that k is negative 5, and by drawing my picture, I see that the radius is 5. So, go to my formula, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. And I plug in h, I plug in k, and I plug in r and square it. So this would become x minus 4 quantity squared. You know what's going to happen here because k is negative, minus a minus is going to make this a plus. So we have y plus 5 quantity squared. r is 5, 5 squared would be 25. And that is my answer. So what does tangent mean? If I say something is tangent to the x-axis, a circle, draw the center first, walk to the x-axis, draw yourself a little circle. I mean, come on, you know the circle, you know the circle's going to go bigger. You know, I mean, the circle's going to go much bigger than that. I was just trying to give you an idea what tangent meant, okay? It touches at one time, and that's all you needed to really know because that told me that my radius had length 5. And then that enabled me to get that answer. And we're done.